You will double-cross me, will you? You're the double-crosser, telling the police that I killed Mitchell. You're a liar. Where's Paul Geronda? I haven't got him. Don't lie to me. Come clean. Where is he? I tell you, I don't know where he is. Stay right where you are. The game is up, Hobart. Every statement you made about Dr. Geronda's gold formula has been recorded on a dictaphone placed in this room. Get together, you two. Drop that gun, Hobart. Throw up your hand. You'll hang for this, Hobart. What's the trouble here, Craig? Hobart just killed Denton. There goes Dave! Yeah, Craig. Say, did he get a whole bark? No. He got away. That's too bad. My right, joke, we've got it. Good. Tell me, Walter. Exactly. Where did you find this? Well... Kennedy, your life is in danger if you continue on this case. I've been told to tell you that this is your last warning. Quick, Walter. The daylight developer. This picture I took of Dr. Geronda, I believe, will lead us to the clutching hand. Walter, get some printing paper. While the negative is drying, I'll change my clothes. How long do you think it'll take you? Oh, about 10 minutes, I think. That's fine.
That's enough. That's enough. I got covered here, Craig. Here's our eavesdropper. Well, he's not the clutching hand. I know it. But now I know who the clutching hand is. We'll just keep this man with us. We may need him. Call up Miss Dillon and arrange for a meeting of the board of directors at the Geronda home at once. All right. Come on, you. Get going. How do you do? Skip that. What can you do for this? Hmm. Looks pretty bad. How'd you do it? Cleaning my gun and went off. Get busy. Wait here just a moment. All right, give me your hand. Take out a spot, Walter, and watch. If the man we want tries to get away, he'll probably make for this car. All right, Craig. We'll fix you up all right. What's that? Why, I don't know. Wait a minute. What's all this about, Mickey? Why, I, I don't know. I, I was helping a man with a shot. Shot? Yes, and suddenly he seemed to go crazy. He knocked me down and rushed out. You were working here when this man came in? Yes. What about this book? What? That's Dr. Gerona's formula book. Right you are, Mickey. Put out your hand. Come on, put him out. Why, what's the idea? I've been waiting for this opportunity ever since Dr. Geronda disappeared. Where are you going? Just a minute. Come on, put him on. Ladies, oh, gentlemen. Well, has he arrived yet? Not as yet. That's the man that hit me? Yeah, he has. Where did you get him, Gaunt? Trailed him here. Caught him as he was making the getaway. Begins to look as though we're getting to the end of this case. Look. What's that? Dr. Paul Geronda's gold formula book. Where did you get it? From Nicky here. You don't mean... No. He's not the clutching hand, but he's had this book ever since the night Dr. Geronda disappeared. Why didn't he make a break with the gold formula as long as he had it? He would have. But there's part of the gold formula missing. Oh. How about the clutching hand? Now that I have this book, I'll have them before the day is over. Lock these men up. I've got an appointment at the Geronda home. Okay, Kennedy. Come on, Phelps. Here you. <coughs> Gentlemen. You can think what you please. But as attorney for Paul Geronda, I repeat, 
Unless something is done immediately, I'm going to take matters into my own hands. But Mr. Cromwell, what about Craig Kennedy? He must have something to report. He called this meeting. Well, he'd better have something to report. Gentlemen, I have something to report. Have any of you gentlemen ever seen this book before? Dr. Geronda's formula book. Right you are. Dr. Geronda's gold formula book. The formula, the formula book. Uh, as attorney for Paul Geronda, I demand that book. <laughs> Just a minute, Mr. Cromwell. There are some chemical notations here on page eight of which I would like a copy. Miss McMillan. Yes, Mr. Kennedy. Will you please make a typewritten copy of this page for me, please? Certainly. Thank you. Now, that'll just take a few minutes, Mr. Cromwell. What happened, Craig? He's dead, Walter. And this is the end of the gold formula. There you are, Gordon. I guess that's all. What about the gold formula? There never was a gold formula. What do you mean? Paul Geronda, who was Werner's guardian... Wasn't he a father? No. Geronda was appointed Werner's guardian when she was two years old. Recently, he misappropriated vast sums belonging to her. In order to recoup his losses on the stock exchange, Geronda hit upon the plan to fake a synthetic gold formula. Walk his company into selling a gigantic issue of the stock, grab his share, and skip. Well, where does Nicky fit in? The night Geronda disappeared, he made Miss McMillan believe that he had memorized a part of the gold formula. Nicky, believing the formula to be authentic and recorded in the formula book, attacked Geronda and stole the formula book. 
Geronda recovered, and discovering his fake gold formula missing, he realized that the book held evidence to expose him as an imposter. Now, unaware of whom his assailant was, he thereafter spared no efforts to recover the so-called gold formula. Well, uh, what about Wickham, the butler? Oh, you mean Major Courtney of the Army Intelligence Service. Courtney? Yes. His job was to locate the war gas formula Brown invented, and which Dr. Brown, or Dr. Geronda, was trying to sell to a foreign power. Did he find it? Major Courtney and the war gas formula now are on their way to Washington. <laughs> Frank Kennedy, this is your last warning. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, we're waiting dinner for you and Shirley. And bring Mr. Gaunt. <laughs> I must say that's very nice of them.